international love in the chat is just going to make me cry. Y'all going to make me cry. Mm, mm, mm. Got Holland. Got the U.S. Got everybody here, man. Mm. Got Germany. We got Spain. I can't scroll at all and shout out all you guys. It's just awesome. So glad to, so glad to have you here, man. This is uh, this is another good one, another good one, my friends. So, um, new release from Hawthorne playing as we came in. Evening dreams of space flight. Released on June 5, Mr. Alex Hawthorne performing today as Hawthorne. And hey man, uh, sorry I didn't ask you if it was okay if I played your played your stuff, played your music while the show started. I assumed it'd be okay. Sorry man, I probably should have should have asked you that. Um, I'll have uh, links to all these amazing artists' band camp pages after the show's done. Or maybe I'll be pasting them in the, I don't know. I don't want you to leave and go to, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, they'll be there, okay? Um, testing out a new camera today. Hope it stays on and works. I let it run last night for like eight hours on power. So I think it's going to be okay. Um, <laughs> I'm reading some of the chat here. You guys are killing me. All right. Um, Last week, or not last week, two weeks ago's show, we took two minutes of silence, or a minute of silence um, for Mr. George Floyd. And in the past two weeks, our world has not calmed down. It is on fire, literally. And uh, I've talked to my international friends about this, and they can't believe what's going on here. And... Um, not going to be a political soapbox here, but I know you all are with me, and I think it's just important to say the words, Black Lives Matter. And uh, that's it. Uh, it's important to say the words. And to say more than the words, but anyway, we're going to say the words. Okay. Um, today, once again, we stand with giants. The giants who have pulled me up, who have helped me, um, who have shared their knowledge, who have demonstrated their skill. Unbelievable. So I want to get right to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to, well, maybe I should just put on my glasses. Nope. No, nope, I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, we start the day with Mr. Bertolt Meyer from Berlin. Um, he considers himself a hobby musician. I've got to disagree, my brother. Uh, he has a background in DJing. He has a, a residency at a small uh, Leipzig, Leip, no, I practiced it too, Leipzig-based uh, uh, queer party called No, No, No. Please, can I travel and go to that cool uh, club? Okay. Um, he started uh, working on his own material uh, about five years ago, and he fell into the modular rabbit hole at the same time. I think we can all relate. Um, he is a professor for work and organizational psychology at a public German university, Chemnitz University of Tech. And his research is about diversity and psychological health at the workplace. Amen to that. And the digital transformation of our society. Um, he was born with a physical disability. He's missing his lower left arm and he wears a prosthesis. So here's the thing. He's hacked his prosthesis to send his thoughts through CV to his modular synthesizer. We will have a little chat about that in a minute. I love this guy. Okay, Mr. Berthold Meyer from Berlin.
Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Bertold. It's great seeing the chat light up when you started playing. I kind of thought that might happen. Uh, welcome for everybody who's joined the show. Uh, this is Modular World. I'm your host, John O'Wells. Thanks so much for coming. This show takes a lot of work, a lot of promotion, and you guys showing up, supporting our global community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. All right. We are going to bring Bertold in for a little bit of chat, a little bit of chatty chat. Let me see if I can do this smoothly. Please hold. <laughs> All right. Bertold, you are, you are live with us, man. Hi, Jono. <laughs> it's great to be here. So a little bit of positive uh, reaction in the chat there. Yeah, I'm blushing. Well, you should be. You know, I knew you had to be on this show. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you very much for having me. Awesome. So I, I don't even know where to start, we, we, you know, with all the questions. How you doing it? What's going on? Amazing. Um, you said you were, um, one of them was going to a fill and one of one of the CV sends was yeah. going to a filter. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, so... <laughs> this is the this is the device. I'm not I'm not I'm not wearing I'm not wearing it at the moment. Um, do you want me to? I don't know. Let's yes. uh, come on. Let's, you know, for the sake of completeness, no pun intended. Um, so there oh, we go. Oh my gosh! Here we go. <laughs> there it is. Now it's on. And um, yeah, so uh, I I think I actually I think I actually have it running in the background. Let's. Uh, Let's check. I don't know. Is this coming through? Can you hear this? I can. Right. And and so the here this goes in here. So this this is the this is the fill for the for the for the clap. Uh, right. So this is how this is how it goes. Yeah. When we talked on the phone, you explained how there's two muscles kind of at the bottom of your upper arm that can feel this and sense it and right. see it. Yeah. How does that? So happen? there's two electrodes that sit inside uh, in the prosthesis on the surface of my residual limb. Um, they're kind of here and here on the on the inside, and they pick up uh, the muscle signal uh, of the muscle that would be responsible for flexing. Well, the left wrist, if I had one. Right. Um, so so that's what I do, and and so I mean it's not, you know, I'm not the first person. Um, to come up with the idea of of using muscle signals to control a modular, right? There is there's actually two commercial modules out there that can do that. There's the ADAC ADDAC. I think it's the 803 or the I, I forgot the number of the module. And then there's Sion um, from Instrual. Um, and you and both modules come like with these medical electrodes that you can just you know stick to your right. body. Yeah. Any those I've seen, but the yeah. thing. Yeah, but the thing for me is like I've you know I've learned to create these muscle signals um, over you know I more than twenty years. So for me, it's become so uh, second nature. You know, I, it's it's something that I do without having to think about it. And um, just to move your fingers, you mean? Right, yeah, right. And so and then so that's why why it kind of you know it's I'm not sending my thoughts into the synthesizer, right? It's just a muscle well, signal. Sort but of are. but I sort well of are, yeah. Man. I mean, you know, <laughs> when, uh, when we talked originally, you told me that you developed this with your partner and a programmer. Can you tell us right. a little bit about that again? Yeah. So, um, the, the, the PCB that's inside here, um, uh, that was, uh, actually designed by Christian Solner, aka, aka Krisi from Coma Electronic. Um, it's a, it's a synthesizer, um, company here in Berlin. Um, they're wonderful. Check them out. Call my electronics. They're, they have some great modules. Many of you will know the field kit, um, which is made by Koma. Um, so I approached uh, Krizi early on uh, in the development of this project and asked him for help uh, with when it came to designing the circuit board. And I, 
kind of had sketched out the first version of the circuit board and kind of sold it something together on a strip PCB and then, but, you know, actually turning it into something that you can actually print. Mm -hmm. um, and he did, he did that, you know, I'm, um, he, he's more of an electronic engineer than, than I am. Um, and, and my husband, Daniel, he's a, he's a wizard with the 3d printer. He designed the case and printed it. It's, it's great seeing you play your set because you say that you come from a DJ background and you're not a musician and all this stuff, or you're a hobby musician, right? <laughs> but listening to your set, I do hear kind of the DJ sort of structure where you move yeah. from one section to another. Yeah, yeah. it's Absolutely. so cool to see that yeah. in Euro Rack. <laughs> you know, it's, I want people to dance, or at least to, right. to make it possible to dance to, to the music that I make. Right, That's right. So at least in theory, it should be danceable. That's that. That's what I want to do with my music, and and of course the kind of you know, uh, you know four bars structure uh, until something happens. Kind of you, it, it's so ingrained uh, from from the from the DJ background, and also kind of having two um, sequences that you can go back and forth between. Of course, there's also a, you know, a variation of, of playing in front of two decks. Right. So yeah, right. I'd, I'd say it's a very DJ inspired setup um, that I have. And also like uh, the case that I use, which is the, this one here in the, in the background, it's like my main goal was to keep it portable. Um, so this is the only thing that I really need to take along, along with, with the mixer, uh, which is the WMD performance mixer, which is just unbelievably great. Um, and the sequences and I keep them separate so that I I'm flexible with setting up and using as little space as possible. Right. And right. actually I can run these of batteries too. Um, so with my friend Jonathan, we sometimes, you know, as with the modular um, on the spot kind of spirit, you know, sometimes we just go out, hang out in the park and play. That's so awesome. You want to talk about your patch at all? Tell us some of the, some of the parts. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. It's um, it's it's actually a fair. I mean the the patch is actually fairly simple. It's um, it's it's really nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so this is basically a six voice um, subtractive synth uh, setup. Um, so the main oscillators uh, are um, there's a clavis twin wave uh, which I love because it has some some textures that I find very very unique. Um, and then there's an old but gold um, braids uh, from by Mutable Instruments, and I especially dig the wavetable section of this. I so almost versatile. use yeah. it in absolutely. Um, and a big shout out to Qubit for the Chord version two, which is I think it's just it's just 16 HP, and it's it's a polyphonic yeah. um, chord generator that has also now a wavetable. And then like. My two little gems that I think um, give it most character is the the Kilpatrick audio. I also get the the name was that the the thirty twenty one. It's like a, it's a very traditional VCO, um, but especially when you give it a little bit of FM, it creates this kind of screeching sound that was the synth voice kind of in the second part of the set, mm -hmm. uh, the the lead. And I really, really dig the bass line uh, by Erica Synth, uh, which is just just such a wonderful fat bass line. Yeah, yeah. And all of the and you know if you if you're going for space, um, I think it's kind of difficult to go without a sampler, uh, which I use basically as a built-in drum computer. And so this is the 1010 Music um, Bitbox that holds the vocal samples and yeah. my kicks and so forth. Um, there's also a a, a, a uh, a BD proc bass drum module that I that I want to bring in in the in, in, in the patch and I and I and I forgot to do it. Yeah, so I mean, there's there's really nothing like the only thing that's maybe a little rarer next to the proc BD bass drum is the is the U Dervish um, DIY SMD soldered. Um, I didn't build it myself. I had I found someone on a, on a modular Facebook page in Germany who built it. And so the U Dervish is just a wonderful effects machine um, that adds so much great like ping pong delay reverb kind of ish effects, um, which is great for the kind of club music that I'm sorry, I've been talking too long. That's wonderful. No, it's fine. Everyone wants to hear it. It's great. We love this stuff. You know, this is the greatest part of, you know, outdoor meetings and face to face meetings is the fellowship afterwards and the talking about process. It's great. 
Oh man, you know I love you. You know. Um, I love it too, Jonah. Thank you so much for uh, for having me. This has been a fantastic experience. Really, it was so, so much good. fun to shoot it too. Yeah, I learned yeah. a lot. <laughs> Thanks so much. Really, it's just great, great piece. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna pull you out of the chat and put you back in the waiting room. Or if you want, you can just log out. All right. Okay. Will do. Bye Thanks bye. so much, man. We'll. Uh, Thank we'll, you, Jonah. We'll be in touch. Let's talk soon. Yeah. All right. Man, I just love this show. I love it. I love the show. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, Alpha Stair asks if he ever checked into Migsy Tech, which uh, Sarah Bell Reed does. You know, we didn't talk about that when we talked. And, um, yeah. Well, he's still in chat, so... Um, Bertold, Sarah Bell Reed is a, <laughs> how do you describe Sarah Bell Reed? She's a, a classically trained trumpet player who has, okay, I can do this, who has uh, uh, integrated um, her modular synth, Max, um, tons of other wacky electronics into her trumpet playing and has built some amazing stuff and is just one of the most creative people on the planet, I'm sure. Um, and MIGSY stands for Minimally Invasive Gesture Sensing Interface. Yo. Okay. Um, yeah. Bear told to check out Sarah Bell Reed. She's done some crazy creative stuff. Okay. Moving on. Uh, our next, <laughs> our next artist, uh, comes to us from Hertfordshire in the United Kingdom. Talk more about that in a minute. This is Probi. Paul Williams performs as Probi. He uh, has had an interest in electronic music and synthesizers since childhood. He built his first homemade synthesizer in 1973. He uh, abandoned his synth hobby for a lot of his professional life um, in the digital 1980s. <laughs> And he has a very decorated career. He's uh, invented and designed high-end audio equipment, amplifiers, loudspeakers for various companies of his own, most notably Linear Research, who is still very active and prominent in the pro audio world. Amazing uh, life. And uh, he returned to electronic music in 2017 with great enthusiasm and got into Eurorack. Um, side note, um, when I got into Eurorack, I started following Probi, and uh, started talking, and I saw he was from Hertfordshire, and I spent a fair amount of my childhood back and forth in England, and specifically in Hertfordshire, so we were very much in the same area. Um, God, I love this guy. Uh, this is some of the most beautiful stuff, I think, that's around. Uh, so here we have Mr. Paul Williams performing as Probi.
God, that little that little ramp up at the end. Jeez Louise, man. Come on. Talk about leave them wanting more. Jeez. All right. Let me pull in uh let me pull in Paul. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. just unbelievable all right paul are you with us yes i'm here <laughs> joining right. us from the uk man thank you so much you're welcome god that little ramp up at the end oh oh man god yeah, chat just fun. loved it that was like masterful <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> so how you doing today man yes good thank you yeah, enjoy the show. Uh, well, you know, I've been a fan of yours for a while, and uh, no, it's just great to have you. Thank you for having me. You have such a decorated career. I hope I didn't just really abbreviate that and butcher it horribly. <laughs> you know, no, I tried to just like make it make sense out just out of a few sentences. It's you know, it's bad. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell us about your patch a little bit? I know everybody's curious. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I usually keep lots of notes uh, on, about my patches um, just so I can – I actually keep a record of all of them. So uh, I like to, to publish the patch notes with my YouTube videos in case folks might be interested. Right. And uh, also it's good to look back to see how I did a particular thing if I, if I liked it. Yeah, like right. Right. Um, not that you can ever recreate a sound exactly, but uh, yeah. it is ideas, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Um, so, um, I've, I've still got the patch running here. Um, so, the, uh, the base is on uh, is uh, Cursus Eteritas. Um, that's, what, that's what Tyat was asking right now. You got it. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've never used it for bass before, um, but it is such a versatile module. I, I pretty much use it in every single patch. And uh, it's the first time I've used it for bass, and it seems to have worked out pretty well uh, here. Um, so, yeah, so that's, uh, that's doing the, the bass. And... Uh, so what else have we got? So we've got some, so this is one of the main motifs that runs through uh, quite a lot of the page. So this is actually uh, using both halves of uh, twin waves, uh, using one half to sync the other. Um, and then it goes through, um, I'm using Miliophon just to give it some just to liven it up with some echo. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all there is to that voice. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. And then we've got uh, percussion from uh, Pico Drums. And what have we got? Yeah, so this is, um, I've got uh, a few different to reels that I'm using uh, on the nebulae. Um, so this is a sort of um, a, a nice sort of a nice sort of stab sound that I quite yeah, like. Yeah. And in other parts of the piece, um, I've got some to vocals, uh, um, sort of uh, vowel sounds that it plays over some parts. And also the crunchy noise at the beginning, that's, that's another reel on Nebulae. And that was also recorded uh, from, from another patch that I had earlier. Uh, what else have we got? And there's just some sort of fillers, really. Yeah, just... Um, one is actually, yeah, well, one side is actually Chainsaw and the other is uh, TSL, Instro TSL. 
That chainsaw was breaking everybody's heart, man. Not just love chainsaw. That was the one I had messaged you about earlier last week. I was like, what is that? You know. Oh. Right, to me it's just strings, you know. Heartbreaker, man. So yeah, what are you working on next? What's uh what's on next? What am I doing next? Yeah, just personally uh, or with Linea or what's up? Um yeah, I mean it, it it's hard work. We've got some uh, some new products brewing. Um yeah, the, the current products are doing really well and we're following up uh, those with a new line of, of um, DSP amplifiers. Um, but, you know, I've got, I've got a team running most of that now so I can sit back a bit and enjoy things. Good for you. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've got lots of ideas for, for pieces of them doing my synth. Uh, it's just finding enough hours in the day to do it, really so true man i end up like most of my creative time is like after 9 p.m and it's like that's just not good enough but you know yeah. i'm juggling little ones too so there's that but yeah it's it's hard to find enough time mm -hmm. yeah exactly well thanks for taking this time man okay you're welcome thanks yeah. very much for having me on the show well we talked about how i was going to come to the uk this summer and that unfortunately has been pulled from reality. So when I come, yeah. man, I'm going to be in Harpenden. I'm going to, I'm going to hit you up. Yeah. Give me a call. Thanks for joining us. This is great. You're welcome. Thanks very much, John. Uh, all right. Talk to you soon, brother. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Just unbelievable. <laughs> so good. All right. Let's uh, let's move on, shall we? All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in and watching. Uh, if you've just come in, this is Modular World, and my name is John O'Wells, bringing you the. Uh, it sounds like an FM radio show, bringing you the sounds from all over the globe. Okay. Next up is my brother Victor Garcia coming to us from Spain. This guy, you know what? I'm I have a clip that I'm going to play you. That's so good. I got this ready and I almost forgot it. It's so good. Um Victor lives in the very northern tip of Spain in Viviero. He's a composer, a sound designer and a programmer. Um go to his website because he's got links to award-winning animations and films, which he has done the score and soundtrack for. Stuff is played at Cannes, all over festivals. Unbelievable. And as a developer, he's responsible for the development and sound design of Microbian, which is a video game that's already um, been downloaded 400,000 times worldwide. As a musician, he is Death Whistle. And just really quick, I want to play you a track, <laughs> a little snippet um, that I saw on Instagram that made me reach out to him because well, we'll talk about this in a minute. Okay, just check this out just real quick. talking about i think those little fills were done with the adac um uh manual gates wells oliver says digging the reflex vibes and that is exactly exactly 
why I wrote this on his Instagram feed. Or I'm sorry, I reposted that clip because I loved it so much. And I wrote Death Whistle. This is officially the best thing I've heard in years. This is my happy place as far as where melody and percussion and sensibilities meet. Follow this artist. This guy, that clip just killed me. This like, you know, it's like reminiscent of those like crispy, perfect, in my opinion, IDM mid to late 90s with like, yeah, reflex and uh, uh, there's just so much to name. Okay. Schematic. I mean, there's so many. Early warp, you know, you could really count on these labels. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So <laughs> you could tell I like this. All right. Okay. <laughs> Move along. Uh, here is Victor Garcia as Death Whistle.
So uh, we got to talk about that. 
again, like, what an ending. My God, man. All right, let's get Victor in the chat here. Damn, mighty. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. We got to talk about that. Oh, you got to mute your, uh, you got to mute your stream there. What a, my God. <laughs> I can I can hear myself talking. Victor. Hi. I'm here. I don't know if I'm live. <laughs> hey man, you are live. I sorry because maybe there is a delay or something with that. Yeah, it's about a yeah. It's about a half a minute actually. It's pretty sorry. pretty rough. You hear me well or okay? It's I can okay. hear you fine, yeah. So people because just now love I'm that performance. In the dark. I'm totally maybe in the dark and I see nothing. So here we go. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, hear all, all, all those nice comments on the chat. It's amazing. Yeah, people loved what you did and that ending. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you so, very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. So people are interested in your in your visuals. Do you want to talk about how you did that? Yeah, uh, the visuals is very, um, very intricate with the with the setup because I, uh, with the modular, I use the Xperia Sleepers ES8, 3, and 6 mm -hmm. uh, with the, my audio interface also. I use uh, simultaneously about 24 outputs and 16 inputs uh, that goes to Ableton. And in Ableton, I make like a snapshot of the mixer, and with a single wood button, I make uh, the, all the sense and return to the effects, the clouds, the rainmaker, the distortions, modes. Um, I uh, and, and I use the, a plugin who is called Evo Suite, who is for the visuals. Mm -hmm. um, this is about um, the audio reacting of the visuals is because. I use the Ember follower of the Max for Life, and all the inputs of the of the modular are some are, are reacting to the to the visuals, like the like the light or something, some distortion on the visuals. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's great to to use visuals like uh, clips from Ableton, like uh, photography or photos or video is is like is very good to to work with that. Yeah. So are they your photos, your videos, or how are you generating that stuff? Yeah, I use uh, mostly photos from a friend who uh, works with uh, landscape uh, photography. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he gave me some of them, and I try to experiment with that kind of textures and, and landscapes. And yeah, uh, it's... Uh, with all the, the lights and the uh, flash uh, effects, I'm trying to create something like fits with the with the music and create like a, a, a unique atmosphere. Yeah. You're definitely doing it, man. I mean, I, I think that people were most blown away just by all the transitions to the to the other places. It's just so thought out and so intelligent. It's just unbelievable. Thank you. Really, really beautiful. Um, there was a question that I wanted to make sure I got from, oh, where is it again? I think it's asking about how I sequenced the, the, all the show. I mostly I use the, the ERC01. Mm -hmm. And also, like I said, I use like a snapshot of the mixer. Like I use Ableton like a, a mixer console with automation fathers for all the sends and returns, and with one knob I set up all the all the 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 modular like if it was a preset all the algorithms of blades of or shape shifter uh, I set up with a single button to uh, make fun with the all the knobs or whatever I want to 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 play with so is is like that and I think some someone asked about the last um, the last song that was uh, the one it was from db pollen he asked about that last yeah uh, for that song i use a, a, a ios app 
who is called Fuga Machine, who is great to create to create, to create uh, polyphonic um, uh, melodies. Um, that was about a shape shifter, two grades, and something in the year 301. And yeah, uh, also I use like uh, in Ableton, I use um, a library of contact um, of like, um, how we call uh, like uh, elfic voices or so epic elves style, love, Lord of the Rings style. Okay, mm -hmm. I love with I'm in love with all that kind of of voices. I think they got something sound very majestic and very very beautiful. And yeah, I think is uh, mostly that because I use also I use the variegate date and to uh, convert from to MIDI with the Esperance Slippers ES6, and I convert to MIDI to run all kinds of drum sequences, like in the beginning, because I want to uh, express in life what I feel in my studio sessions, right? And I want to save, or I uh, want to recall all my, my setup in the, in the level I, I mostly don't, because in modular you can uh, recall everything, but uh, whatever I can recall it, uh, I do it because that's why I use the, the Wave Maker, the ER301, the Shape Shifter, the Voltage Block with the Variegate. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my, more is my, my way of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the strings at the end was what DB Pollen was asking about. Yeah, it's uh, like I say, it's, uh, it's the, the, that song is made with an uh, iOS uh, app. Who is the Fuga machine? It's a great app, and you can send the melodies to different channels and experiment with that. And it's about a, a mix of synthesizers, and there is a lot of shape shifter there, and two braids, and some uh, for the bass is like the uh, same, a very simple patch of the ER301. And sometimes I record it uh, because I can use. Uh, all the all the all the modular for what I want to transmit, but yeah, it's mostly it's mostly that. Yeah, mm. that that app is 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 beautiful. You can make beautiful things with with that app. Yeah, I gotta get that like today. Yeah, no, yeah. it's great. It's great. At the same time as I'm gonna download Microbian. Yeah, that well, that's uh, <laughs> an experience because I want to make a. Uh, 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 iOS uh, music app, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, I realized do. that I have friends who are animation filmmakers, who are, and we start to collaborate each other, and we decide to make a game. I I don't have any PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. I just make a game because I think I thought that uh, you can. It's like cinema, right? You can put photography, music. Uh, animation, uh, a lot of different arts to make uh, something special. Um, the game is, in, is also is like in the in the mood of my of my performance. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we are we uh, we were reviewed by Apple in the Apple Store. That's because we have a lot of downloads, and it was uh, an experience. Yeah, that's but, so cool. So, what are you working on next? What's uh, what's What's going on? Okay, now uh, we are um, presenting a new short film, which is called Homeless Home. It's very nice, and uh, it's uh, presenting, presented in Annecy, who is the best uh, place in Europe to present uh, animation, mm. because I'm very close to uh, animation film directors. And now I work in a live set to play in like theaters with those kinds of visuals. Uh, because I, I am a, li a little bit tired about the, the hours of the techno music. To play live at 5 a.m. in the morning, is, <laughs> I'm a little bit tired of that. And I want to explore all, um, all other, other scenarios. Uh, because I, in December, the last December, I play in a planetarium here in, mm. a, in a Fantin Fest, a festival here in Galicia, in Spain. And I played in a planetarium. It was crazy, it's beautiful with the, all the visuals in the planetarium. I want to explore that uh, that work and that kind of 
uh, of places to, to play because it's amazing that you have the people sit down and very uh, focus on your performance. It's not like in the in the high hours of the night that people are talking about and you can manipulate the people <laughs> to, right. to uh, and that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. God, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm going to come and visit you, man. It's going to be good. Yeah, of course. You can come here wherever you want. Here, a very good place to, to be. And and you have a very good food. That's <laughs> All of that sounds awesome. All right. I love you, brother. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Um, and it's amazing what you're doing. Uh, being out to the people of this beautiful performance is, is crazy. Um, being the people smaller when the, the world is, war, is, is is very big, but you make uh, it feels very close to, to all of our community. That's Thank exactly you what I want to do. That's, that's exactly it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, man. thanks for doing it, man. All right. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> Thank you. Genius. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. He's removed from Zoom chat. I got to talk myself through this because there's so many cues. <laughs> there's so much stuff here. Okay. Moving forward. Our sister Eden Gray is joining us from Miami, Florida. Oh my God. It's so good. Uh, Eden has a master's in music technology at Florida International University. And she just finished her PhD from Royal Holloway University of London. Are you ready for this? She is the first woman to write a PhD thesis on composing with the Eurorack. Come on now. I did have a little bit of fun Googling, and I found that we're not sure if there's any men who have written their PhD and thesis on composing music with Eurorack. So this is some groundbreaking stuff here. Uh, her thesis will be available to be read by the public very soon. And in it, she discusses the modular synth community and her approach to composing in Eurorack. She founded CV Freaks. That's F-R-E-Q-S, like frequencies. Thank you, Jono. She founded CV Freaks, and she puts on modular synth events, and it's also a podcast. This woman is plugged in and uh we're just very uh <laughs> very proud to have her here so without further ado here's eden gray
Yeah. So anybody ready to quit? Just put your hands up. Just ready to give up. Sell my modules. Didn't work out so well for me. I'm just going to move on. Wow. So much to unpack there. We're going to get Eden in the chat right now. Good night. Just so much. Okay. My sister, you are live with us. <laughs> hey, everyone. That was, uh, man, seeing the live patching and the whole thing, just like unbelievable. People love that. Yeah, it's really, really fun. It's... So how much of that was improvised and how much of it was just? Well, uh, I do it basically, well, I always pack up everything after I'm done playing. So uh, I just set it all up and then practice a little bit, make something that sounds really nice and then come back and, uh, and uh, yeah, it's all pretty much improvised. I mean, besides what I set up uh, before I started filming it, yeah. Right. Absolutely awesome. Just masterful. I love the random, the the random melody. Uh, that's from the PAMS uh, mm. new workout. How, how, can you explain that a little bit? The random melody, the one that goes and it's all crazy and it sounds, uh, you know, uh like very science fiction so that's a trigger from one output on the pamela's new workout module that you can make it be a uh, uh, a random wave so oh oh random wave on pans right okay yeah got it and the tempo changes mm -hmm. yes yeah, so mm -hmm. that i mean i have it going at i think it was at 110 for most of it and then um, for the beginning and then i slowed it down to 95 because this is the second set where i've used the drum machine since i'm at home i can use whatever equipment i want and so i mean whereas when i go out i just take the modular because um and then i make the rhythms with the with what's inside of the modular but using the rhythm and connecting it with pams uh with the pxp1 um the pams you can push a button and start the the drum machine with it and so you can change the tempo inside of pams and then it changes the the tempo of the drum machine too so Al yeah so alpha stair says pre-patched and explored live love the method yeah yeah i mean that's I feel very same it's very uh, exciting that way. It's exciting for me and it's exciting for for everyone listening to it. I mean, there's the parts that are, uh, you know, really crazy and, you know, has the ups and downs moments, but mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't trust myself to do that for a while and I still don't do it well, but I'm now in maybe the territory where I can kind of similar you know set up some problems and some situations and then just kind of stumble forward and i trust mostly where it's going to end up and i can sometimes get myself out of rabbit holes but seeing you do it is just yeah i'm pretty much ready to quit basically no you definitely need to experiment <laughs> that's the most fun about it that's why it's so much fun i mean yeah. having it all precise and laid out is a really good method too it's really hard to do that that's yeah. why mm -hmm. um that's kind of why i do it this way because it's just like i don't have to go writing notes or you know right. where this where this knob is set at and you yeah. know you just kind of know basically what it's gonna do if it's you know what you're doing so mm -hmm. doing a lot of things at once it's not as fun to have it all planned yeah yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> well you might as well just write a track then right instead mm -hmm. of do it live yeah, right. Um, Night on Mars asks, was the tempo change set or just happened in the moment? No, I changed it um, uh, on the PAMS at that uh, time. You just yeah. like quickly dialed it down. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to push the button and turn it. <laughs> and I went through a few settings on the on the, one of the outputs for that changing the you know, the waveform too. So it has a lot of things inside of that module. It's really a great one. Yeah, PAMS to me is kind of like a gift that keeps on giving. Like I kind of take it for granted, you know, 
because it's just like a clock, but it's just not, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right. Pams, baby. Um, so pretend that we had no, like, pandemic going on. What would you do with CV Freaks if you could? Um, or what's well, next? The event is a traveling event, so I'm really looking forward to see where it's going to end up. I definitely want to go back to London to do it. So, but um, now that I'm meeting you and um, all the people in the West Coast from this pandemic, um, and it's been helpful to meet New York people. New York. Absolutely. My God. Yeah. And I mean, I since I spent so much time over there, I know a lot of people over there, but I didn't know anyone in the U.S. until uh, I found uh, Colin Bender's Discord uh, about a week before a virtual super booth. And then I never knew how to use Discord. Now I started my own on there. And I don't know, really know what I'm doing, but I met a, bu a bunch of people on there. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's been really useful to meet people in the West Coast and uh, US in general. I mean, Miami, there's only a few of us, but I, I had one planned, a CV Freaks planned for May, which has been canceled, of course, but... Uh, Kazo, Kazo Guzman just brought that up, hoping that the CV Freaks event for Miami that was canceled will be rescheduled soon. Uh, I hope so too, but you know, maybe we can do, do one. I haven't asked my friend who has the venue where I was going to do it. Um, I was probably thinking in September or something, but I don't know. We'll see how things come out with this whole mask thing and everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we absolutely love you on the West coast. I know that New York modular feels same. I know that Colorado feels same. And I know that international feels same because of your, uh, your uh holland love yeah dutch modular fest they're people. here they're supporting <laughs> yeah. uh, it was so much fun uh dutch modular fest when i was there in 2018 and it was a great event yeah Travarsi asks how do we get you how do we get on your discord you don't have one just for yourself right or does cv freaks have one no it's a cv freaks one oh, sorry. so Right. I've got um, on the CV Freaks Instagram, I've got the, the tree, uh, link tree. And then on that, there's a, uh, an event, in, I mean, a Discord invite invitation on the, on the CV Freaks Instagram. Click on the link tree and it was there. Cheers. Yeah. There you go, Shonda. Um, Monocene from Colorado, who runs uh, Colorado Modular um, with David Soto and others. Um, says uh colorado let's talk okay those guys are great i love them they got a lot love, of events they've got uh stuff that's yeah i love they're mountains <laughs> yeah there's such great scenes all over our country and worldwide and i'm just so glad to be part of bringing you guys together just awesome yeah um, it's great okay what's next what are you uh what are you working on next what's going on uh, well, the CV Freaks homepage is uh, coming soon. I'm uh, working on putting together the first artist compilation of artists I've had play at my events uh, in the past. I've had 12 CV Freaks in London, so I've had some really great artists come play there. So, so uh, cool. yeah, we're going to probably release it on vinyl. Um, so I'm really excited to see who, you know, the tracks from who I've collected so far to come Um to be on part of the, on the first compilation. And then, you know, we'll continue to have the events and release more from, you know, yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, so yeah, CV Freaks is uh, the podcast, which is just me at home for now, but when I do my events again, I'll get to talk to some guests. Um, someone here in Miami has brought me a prototype of um, uh, an audio to CV kind of it's like a, a standalone PCB right now I guess he wants mm. to, to be like a pedal type thing but I'm gonna talk about that one soon and yeah so it's gonna be cool brilliant anything that um, I can help to promote or be a part of just please let me know and I'll make uh, sure we're talking about it and make sure it's yeah I mean I want to put a new album soon uh, I just put a bunch of my all my um, compositions that I wrote for my PhD, I put them on Bandcamp as I was going.
going along like their mm-hmm. research composition yeah, yeah. but I've just released them all on Spotify and I, I got on DistroKid per recommendation of Heinbach since he was uh, kind of giving them a, I guess he was promoted, promoting them or something. So mm. I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll get on DistroKid and I'll put my music on Spotify. I guess people use it. I don't, but <laughs> make it available for people to listen to all the checks I've made over the past, uh, you know, six years when I was doing the PhD and and the masters was the four years before that. So a and lot those of are on Spotify under Eden gray. That's right. Right. Gray yeah. with an E. <laughs> um, DB Pollen, who is uh, a mover and shaker in Pacific North and in, in the Pacific Northwest community. Awesome community also up in Seattle and Norther says, you're welcome to do a modular on the mountain with me. He and I spoke a couple of weeks ago and, uh, He's done and wants to do more of these modular on the mountain setups up there. It just sounds awesome. Oh, wow. I bet that would be amazing. Yeah, he's great. Make sure you hit him up. Great, great guy, too. Cool. Um, All right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for listening and um, being part of the community, too. It's really wonderful how it's getting um you know we're all getting more together and everything it's really good sharing ideas and sharing music absolutely awesome okay we'll uh we'll be in touch soon all righty john thank you ciao bye everyone all right man it's just so good so good um, speaking of Bandcamp, I do need to mention that I got a message on my phone as this show's happening that uh, our brother, Paul Williams, Probby, who played earlier, has released something during the show on Bandcamp. And I know that Alex Hawthorne, our next guest, is also doing the same. It's live, kids. It's awesome. I'll be plugging in all those links at the end of the show. And also after this is done, just for those of you who have missed so-and-so and so-and-so during this uh, show, um, after it's done on YouTube, I go in and I put all the counter times in so that you can skip past all my garbage talking and get right to the part where the, where the artists play. So <laughs> you're welcome. You can skip past all of me and get right to it. Okay. I try to keep it short. Um, Man, next up is Mr. Alex Hawthorne, who performs as Hawthorne. Um, He's new to the West Coast. He just moved here in October. He lives in L.A., a little north of us in San Diego. He is a New York City-based, well, he was, uh, theatrical sound designer for 15 years, 10 years working on Broadway, and... He was working on Harry Potter plays when he got into modular in 2017. Three years. Okay. Wait till you hear this. Uh, Long before modular, he worked in software synths, which I also love, uh, creating soundscapes for theatrical pieces. He got into Max in 2007 with the vision of uh, like when you can't find a piece of software to do what you want, you make that piece of software yourself. I've heard a lot of people who play with Max with that kind of attitude of, I can't find something that makes what I want, so I'm gonna make it myself. I love that. I love that. Okay, so next up is Hawthorne.
You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold.
that uh, okay so we're gonna get you in chat right now Alex <laughs> that's gonna need a little little discussion Wow unbelievable <laughs> hey man you are uh, you are live I'm here. What's going on? How are you? We're going to have to unpack that a little bit. (laughs) God, people loved that. That was so amazing. Thank you. That was like a real journey. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of supposed to be like uh, my like bifurcated brain during quarantine where I'm like watching comics and just wasting time with Rick and Morty. And then, you know, also like staying on hold for hours with New York State Department of Unemployment. So it's uh, it's been a journey. So bifurcated that's a word i've got to use more just dropping dropping language where i can i'm not sure i'm i'm smart enough to use words like that i'm just gonna keep it kind (laughs) of just fake it till you make it just fake it till you make it oh but then i'm yeah then it's obvious dude it's great to have you (laughs) thanks for having me on this is this has been awesome you're you're doing some some great work so it's a great show i love it (laughs) yeah yeah, it's totally um, uh, terrifying to like watch the other four people and be like, "Oh God, oh, come <laughs> what on. am I up against?" Come on, but, this is the beautiful uh, thing about modular is that like we're all like genuinely interested in basically in all the genres. Totally. Like whether totally. we make it like that, our, our you know like ourselves or not, is like beside the point. Like I'm genuinely interested in how people are doing it, getting to know them. One hundred percent. I want to get into it, baby. Yeah. Totally. That said, tell us a little bit about what's going on and what you built. Uh, yeah, so I actually had, I had to sort of like remind myself what I'd done because I've um, the whole the entire EP was written after I did this track. So like I did this track like you know a few weeks ago, uh, and then went through and like made another forty minutes of music. So it's 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 like what did I do back then? And it's also interesting listening to like that as a twenty minute track, knowing that I then made another 20 minute track and sort of thinking about the balance of like crafting something that travels a journey along those lines. Um, But yeah, as I mentioned in the chat, like most of it is the Fluxus one is sort of the center of it all. Amen Uh, for the Fluxus one. Yeah. Yeah. I know Uh, you and I have talked about that. We just. Interesting firmware updates, but it's, it's getting there. I mean, I I still. Um, So yeah, so it was running uh out to a moog mother 32 which did this sort of like very fast arpeggiated stuff um which then in turn ran into magneto to give it some give it some love mm-hmm. uh, and then probably cloud terrarium and mangroves were the other were sort of the two main voices there uh plus pinging rings in the second half mm. um and then i used i, I yeah I, like i said i wrote myself some notes um Use the Rick and Morty pocket operator, which uh, is a great little piece of equipment. Um, and then it's uh, it's a like a answering phone, uh, answering machine chip in a like a DIY um, module that is doing the Department of Labor. I like called that you know in the middle of all my phone calls, I like jacked it into Logic and just hit record and like found a sample that I wanted. Dope. To use. Um, Dope. So yeah, so that that comes up so and then cool. sort of mangled as it goes on by clouds uh and then uh drum brute which is like i just all of my stuff until like beginning of this year has been like strictly ambient like no tempos Mm. ethereal just goes on Mm. uh and then it was like going to nam while listening to your podcast i think with patrick o'brien like on the drive down to nam i was like oh this stuff is so cool i wish i could make like i don't know like real techno uh, and then Fortet has been doing a bunch of live streams. And one of the first was like, Fortet. I saw a drum, yeah, saw a drum brute on his desk. I was like, I'm just going to buy one of those. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to buy one. Right. Uh, I'll work it out. So, yeah, exactly. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun playing around with that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And that's sort of, that's m- most of it playing around with some polyrhythms in the drum brute, which has been really cool and mm-hmm. uh, shaping how to perform the thing. So it's annoying that you were at NAM. Cause I could have met you and we didn't know each other yet. I know? was, I got, I don't do well in crowds necessarily. And that just like imposter syndrome through the roof as soon as I walked in there. So I probably well, wouldn't like, well, listen, here's what I did. I looked, you know, I walked the floor, you know, some of it. And then I went like to the guitar part 
and I was there for four minutes. I saw everybody dressed like rock stars and I'm like, this is Nam, you know? And then, I mean, everybody like looking like they're fresh off tour of cool. And then I spent like 90% of the day just with the synthesizer Eurorack group hung with my peeps. We could have hung out there. Well, I, and I spent a lot of time there too. I did, I did a quick, you were there and I didn't, uh, I did a quick like through of the live sound area because I'm, you know, from my other work in theater, I know a bunch of those companies. Mm. Um, and so like shook some hands, said hey to some people and then like found my way to the synth world. And I was like, this is the world I want to be in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't need um, to be anywhere else. Yeah. Now, like the Qubit stuff was awesome. Like their I was new there Qubit all day. Stuff was so good. So yeah. that's yeah, annoying. I was got there all day. Know. In fact, Andrew got me my pass. Oh, nice. For Nam. So I'm like walking around wearing a Qubit tag, right? And people coming up like, yep. oh, cool, Qubit, man. I've been wanting to meet you. And yeah. I'm like, bro, I, I, I don't work at Qubit. Yeah. I had a, I had a speaker. You don't want to meet me? I was, you I don't was, know who I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think half the badges there are like, sure, just take, just go, just go ahead. Just get <laughs> so people are like, oh, what are you, what are you speaking on? I was like, nah, not, no, not made. This, this is what my dad says. So. Go figure. Um, Alpha Stare says he still wants an E352. You and I also, like Fluxus, have a love affair with wavetables. I love the Cloud Terrarium. Yeah, it was it was the first module I like dreamed about. I went into because I was Brooklyn based for many many years. I was in control. I had just bought uh, the three uh, my like three tiered Moog stand empty right. on right. Craigslist the on the other stand. side and like had biked all the way down back to control and picked up the bubble sound VCOB, uh, Tangle Quartet, mm-hmm. Mats. That might've been like, that might've been like my first setup was basically like Matt, like an oscillator, Mats and a VCA and that was it. Um, and when I was in there, I was like, you know, they're like, well, what kind of music do you like to listen to, play, whatever? Uh, I was like, oh, you know, ambient stuff, like really deep textural stuff. And they're like, well, then you have to hear this guy. And I was like, it's so good and it's so expensive. So I had to like save my shekels until it was, uh, I think it was also still in pre-order and just took a while to come out. So mm, mm. yeah, yeah, that was, it's, it's gorgeous. And thanks to you, I've started playing around with the, the wave editor. I've just been like hamstringing myself by not doing that up until now. So unbelievable. All right, it's let's so talk great. about the wave editor for just like 30 seconds. Totally. So if you have the, um, God damn it. What's the orange, um, the, the piston Honda. If you've got the piston Honda or the cloud terrarium, you can use. There's the spe- there's another one too. Somebody else was like, "Oh, there was like some third party, a, like a completely other company that was also like, and you can use Wave Editor to Wave Editor." Okay. Like, gonna mention since nope, no mention of synthesis technology. Crazy. Like, okay, so technology. Paul Schreiber, synthesis technology made makes great, amazing stuff he's one of the oldest with it um not oldest in age that's not what i'm saying i mean he's been in the industry for the longest of all of us and uh so wave edit on their site for free he gives out the software where you can build wave tables and god this piece of software is so fun and so creative and so easy um sonar traffic says that clavis does does another wave table oscillator there you go twin waves um, but man, flying in wavetables I've made that aren't necessarily good, but I've made them, yep. um, flying them into the terrarium, dicing around 64 single cycle waveform. Ah, oh, just what a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And I also like bringing in weird, like it, exactly. Bringing in weird little like, pieces of audio. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. Yeah. It's great. And then it exports this little 32 K little thing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like my card has like thousands of wavetables on it. Yeah. And you can like access them. And I think what I haven't played around with like performance presets yet, but I think you like very easily can start playing right. stuff. Up, right. So it's awesome. It's great. Okay. All their stuff. Enough of the 352. Um, Paul's a sorcerer. Yes, he is. Uh, VIA Meta is a great wavetable oscillator. Ah. Sound unit says the VIA Meta is a great wavetable oscillator. That one I don't know. Yeah. I've never heard of them. Monocene says, actually, Wave Edit is written by Andrew Belt, who made VCV Rack. Oh, 
Oh, but, shit. but like for as part of a stretch goal, I think for the for the and then he sold it, or, or rather, he was hired by yeah, Paul. he was hired by Paul to do it. I think unbelievable. I didn't know that. I'm yeah. not surprised. Obviously, VCV Rack is where a lot of us started, and it's just such a amazing community and great piece of software. I think it did, was I telling you that I was so frustrated when VCV Rack came out because I was like. I just spent all of this money on knobs and now I can do it for free. Use them both. Use them both. Oh yeah. No one not and also Cohen. Like the the yeah, for sure. But also just the, the textural like plugging and it's very No, snappy. there's nothing like hardware, but yeah. V C V and hardware. Oh my God. Get an ES nine, wake that shit up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's on the list. Um, what's next? What are you working on? What's what's going on? Well, the EP was a, that was like a huge, getting that out was huge. Um, right. So that came out on June 5th, uh, which mm -hmm. I'm proud of it. Thank you so much for, for playing it at the beginning of the. I should have asked you. No, no, no. Listen. But I, I figured it was okay. You're playing the show. Totally. totally. Yeah. I was in the other, I was like in the kitchen or something like that when it came on. I was like, what? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> the stream has started, I think. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. playing my music. Interesting. Mm. Uh, yeah. So no, I'm, I'm writing music for a couple of like, uh, films uh sort of the next the next thing um and uh editing a podcast for a theater company back in brooklyn mm. um, and so you know just it's it's actually really nice not having one project that wakes me up at 6 a.m every morning with my brain turning but like having a bunch of little things where i can pick and choose what i'm going to work on on any given day so um, mm -hmm. it's a nice balance but i'm certainly uh very happy to be keeping busy right now because otherwise i'll be on the couch watching tv all day long so there's not that much good stuff yeah it's true it's well actually i just finally started watching mr robot season four uh so that's no uh, that's good that's that's my my current i get one episode a night at the end of the night that's what i allow myself so bertolt meyer is asking for link to the ep man i'm gonna start putting in links as soon as i hang up totally. on alex oh i also yeah because i i, I'm just I gonna pulled start a, dumping them pulled in. a postulus and uh and posted the track from this concert my god uh, on Bandcamp, so it's available. Uh, should anyone want to keep it forevermore? Good man, that happened right now during the show. Live. See, this is this is this is what we're talking about here. Brave new world. Okay, well, dude, we've talked about it. Um, as soon as we're open for business again, we're going to be doing modular on the spot here in San Diego. Driving, modular driving on the spot two point oh, the it. death of regulations. I said right. it live. I said it. Yeah, live. there it is. Um, so I'd love to have you come down or just forget Mots. Just come down and hang out and have a good hug. That'd be great. I got to get my hands on that beard. Get some good seafood too. Mm. I'm into it. All right, brother. This was awesome. Thank you. Thanks so it. much. Absolutely. Thanks so much, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to hang up on you and uh, go back to the show. Cool. Thanks, man. Right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Awesome gentleman. Just great. Okay. Let's get some links going here. Our show is done. I love you guys so much for showing up and being part of this. This is great. Okay. So here's some links. Okay. I'm going to go backwards. Here is Alex Hawthorne on Bandcamp. Okay. Please support our dear sisters and brothers. Here's Eden Gray on Bandcamp. Mm. Frank Semi says that beard is Corona certified. And actually, Frank, it's not. He had that dope beard before. Just amazing. Okay. Um, I also ran VCV Rack um, with, no, with no CPU problems. Frank Semi, I'm sorry to tell you. It might be your, your computer, bro. I'm sorry. Hold on. More links coming. Uh, deathwhistle.net this is the one I was talking about where you could look at some of the links to uh, some of the movies he scored some of the like animations just unbelievable great great talent here people um, probably Mr. Paul Williams really something for this show okay there's his there's his band camp unbelievable Bertolt Meyer. Here we go. You could you could start with Bertolt's YouTube channel. 
if you want to understand a little bit more about what he was talking about with the sin limb, or maybe you missed that performance, you've got to go to Berthold's YouTube channel and see it explained a little bit better, longer, longer form explanation, some of his music. The talent today, I just, I, I, I can't believe it. Every time, man. Okay, so a couple more weeks. Next date already set. Send a pause. Hmm. Might you be involved in the next show? Maybe? Hmm. Yes, I will leak that we are going to have some performers from Holland next time. I'm not going to say any more. There is, there's, there's, some, there's some treats and surprises next time. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, next date already set? No. But let's just, let's just talk about dates, okay? Because <laughs> why not? This is the 13th. Two weeks from today would be June 27. Is that too soon? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, um, it's finished. It's curated. It's ready. Um, so it certainly could be in two weeks. So perhaps two weeks from today. Okay? Maybe. June 27. Okay? I think that's a big fat maybe. Frank Semi, I'm not the only one having problems with new VCV rack on new Macs. Yeah, I'm, you know, I've been a little out of the VCV rack loop for maybe, oh, I, I, I'm embarrassed to say, maybe a year. So, I'm sorry to hear that. Bertolt says the 27th is great. All right, we're going to think about it. I, I think it's reasonable. I could probably push that out by the 27th. Um... All right, we're going to end this. Thank you so much, my dear sisters and brothers, for sticking in. And uh, my new camera made it through. That's a bonus. It's great. So camera gets to stay. All right. I also um, streamed in exceedingly high bandwidths. So this was also a bandwidth test as well. And it made it through. So cheers. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And we will see you soon on Modular World. All right.